we set out to really understand the role that corn ethanol development had in shaping the American landscape. We found, I guess, unsurprisingly, that increased demand for corn for use as a fuel uh, stimulated crop prices, which in turn caused expansion of corn acres and ensuing consequences for carbon emissions, fertilizer use, and nutrient pollution. The land use changes that resulted from uh, the development of corn ethanol really were associated with large greenhouse gas emissions. And when you factor that in to the overall greenhouse gas balance of that fuel, it looks like it might be no better or even worse than gasoline. Great Lakes Bioenergy is developing green technology to make fuels and chemicals that we currently derive from petroleum or fossil fuel. Using non-food green plants, what we call energy crops, crops that you would grow specifically to make transportation fuels and chemicals. It's not ethanol, it's hydrocarbon replacements. We call them sustainable fuels. It would be mixable with gasoline. It would go right into a pipeline. You don't want to make things that require you to have a totally different engine in your car. The fact that it has deep roots means that it's taken carbon out of the air and stored it underground. The fact that it comes back means we don't have to fertilize, means we don't have to add pesticides. So the greenhouse gas footprint of a perennial crop like switchgrass is much more positive than a lot of the food-based crops, which have a lot of energy and environmental input in it.